All right, here we go on our first real episode of this uh, series on, what did you say, the pitfalls of arguments? Pitfalls of arguments. Pitfalls, I like that. Pitfalls of arguments is what we're going to call this. And today we're going to be discussing inductive reasoning. Just reasoning or logic? Reasoning. Inductive Induct reasoning. Inductive reasoning. I'm Mike Luke. And I'm Adam Sterner. You're watching Arguing Art. So, Adam. Yes, Micah. What is inductive reasoning? Ah, inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is a type of argument that can be kind of a trap for somebody setting up a, a good solid argument. The real easiest, simplest way to think about it is that inductive reasoning is taking a set of specific facts and using them to work toward a general conclusion, rather than the process of deductive reasoning, where you take your premises to prove a factual conclusion. They have to necessarily follow, they have to be sound to be deductive, where in an inductive argument, by forming a general conclusion, you can do something of the type of future prediction. So inductive and deductive aren't necessarily an either or sort of thing. Like it's, well, no, I shouldn't say either or, but they're not necessarily opposite of each other. No, they're not. They're just different, right? Yep, they're just different processes. Um, one of the, the, well, the major difference is that connection between the final conclusion um, in a deductive argument, it does have to follow from the premise that this is true. Yep. And it necessitates. It necessitates it. In an inductive argument, you're using these general facts to form or these specific facts, I mean, yeah. to form a general yeah. conclusion. Now, th that might sound complicated, but it's as simple as this. If someone were to hand me a cookie, and the cookie happened to be green, and I take a bite of it, and the cookie's really tasty, I can say, this is a tasty cookie. I can look at it and go, this is a green cookie. And then I can infer from that, or induce from that, that then all green cookies would be tasty, where that makes an inductive argument. The problem with that is, although you can follow that from those facts, mm. it's not necessarily true. That cookie, the next time somebody gives me a green cookie, it could be moldy and absolutely awful. Oh, that's why it's green. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of, that, that's the major difference right there. So, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> There's ice in there. I could see uh, an inductive argument, though, or inductive reasoning being sure. key, or yeah, a way to, I guess, key in on something. Or maybe you wouldn't want to use it for, like, your your final logic or your absolute, this is how it is because of this inductive reasoning. But sure. I can see how that could help you get to an inductive, or into in, into a, a proper argument. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I, I completely agree with what you're saying. Some people actually consider inductive logic or reasoning to be so faulty that they won't even conclude it or include it or consider it. Yeah. They think that the only type of reasoning and logic is deductive. But I see the value just like you do in inductive reasoning where you can set up an idea and then start yeah. breaking it down. So what you're really doing is you're doing it as a, a preview towards your deductive reasoning, yep. which then you use to make sure that it follows and it's valid. So if it's part of a process, as part opposed of process. to being the justification mm -hmm. itself. Yep, and, and then one of the major kind of milestones of inductive reasoning is that your inductive um, argument can be either weak or strong. And that's really kind of how closely the uh, conclusion mm. and the, the points are tied together. Yeah. Well, I can see um, even a difference between this one cookie was green, so all cookie green cookies must be tasty, right? Mm -hmm. That was the one. So if you did that, I can see that being a weaker argument than yes. say I had a thousand green cookies and a thousand green cookies all tasted good. Yep. Or every tasted green cookie tastes good, therefore you assume that every subsequent um, green cookie would be tasty. Well, yeah, okay. So could that work with like? They talk about um, how gravity is actually a theory. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I've heard that gravity is actually a theory because there's no real way to prove it beyond all possible... Okay. 
Um, have you never heard that before? I haven't. I'm going to have to look this up again. I'll get back to you with more details. But, um, so you could say that because every green cookie ever made in existence has tasted good. Mm -hmm. But that does not necessitate that every green cookie to be made will automatically taste good. Yep, because when you further examine the argument, it's made obvious that, well, a chef could leave out the salt yep. or so the baking still, soda or yeah. whatever and end up with a bad green cookie. So it's still possible to have a bad green cookie. And that's the real key difference between your deductive and your inductive reasoning is the deductive is proven. The deductive, you yep. go through, you make sure it's sound, you make sure it's valid, and using inductive reasoning is, it's kind of, it's guessing, assuming, it's mm -hmm. future predicting, mm -hmm. it's making a general conclusion instead of hammering home at those facts to ensure that it's true. Okay. It's still fun, it's still valuable, but the problem is that it doesn't actually prove your argument. Yep. Okay, so you want to throw out a deductive argument a sample, example for a deductive argument real quick? Okay, um, let's see here. Maybe maybe you could help me out with this. Uh, <laughs> so we did we it go last back time. to like yeah, go back to like the green cookie thing. Uh, so a deductive would be a specific out of a specific. So uh, I had a green cookie out of this batch of cookies. Yes. It was tasty. Therefore, this other cookie out of the same batch of cookies made in the same way will be tasty. Yes. Because it's a specific example leading to a specific example. Yes, specific conclusion that is provable. That is provable. As opposed to an inductive, which would say, I had a green cookie that was tasty, therefore all green cookies are tasty. Are tasty. So why do you think on your feet, Micah? Thanks. I do what I can. Well, that is inductive uh, reasoning, courtesy of Adam Sterner and... Maybe a little bit of me, Michael Luke, here at <laughs> ArguingArt.com. I want to thank you guys for joining us. Uh, make sure, if you're watching this on YouTube or Vimeo, anything like that, come to the website, ArguingArt.com. A little bit of a tongue twister. ArguingArt.com. Arguing art. Uh, come check it out. That's where you can leave comments, you can rate videos, you can discuss back and forth. Uh, that's where the real meat of the conversation is happening. So make sure to pop on over, check us out. Uh, I'd love to have you. You can always email either of us, and we check... We check regularly. So. Yes, we're active on our site. Yep, come check us out. Anything else? Oh, thank you for tuning in. Thanks, guys.